Whoa, 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 welcome fifth grade. Welcome back to our intro to essays unit. I no longer need my stick, so I'm gonna put it up here. We are going into the first part of an essay, the introduction. Oh my goodness, introduction, written normally here, written fancily there. What is an introduction? Pause the video now and answer me this. Where does the introduction go in an essay? Does it go in the beginning, the middle, or the end? Okay, welcome back. If you answered the end, you are wrong. If you answered the middle, congratulations, you are wrong again. But if you answered the beginning, you got it. An introduction is the first paragraph of any essay. I just got out of college, more or less, and I had to write an introduction essay for every single essay I ever wrote. Because you don't just start writing. If my paper, again, going back to the Great Right Shark paper that I wrote in my science class, you wouldn't just be like, you wouldn't just start that essay like this. So great white sharks are really endangered and people are killing them all over the world because their shark fins are really, really important to making shark fin soup and other sort of commodities. You don't, you don't come out the gate like that. You gotta sort of ease into it. Tell people what you're gonna talk about so that they know what they're about to read. It's almost like putting a fancy title on your essay, but it's more than a title. It's a walkthrough for what you're about to write about. So, notice, my introduction and you can do this too, starts real simple. In this essay, I will be, and I'll stop there. Let's go back to what I was talking about in the first video. Remember, essays explain, they can persuade, and sometimes they can create. So, in this essay, I will be, and you, if I'm gonna use explaining, because we're using the shark, um, great white shark essay as my example, I will be, and then you continue, explaining, another word that you could use instead of explaining, would be informing. Now, after this, this is sort of where your writing comes in. In this essay, I will be explaining slash informing, and then if it's informing, you, about, and then your topic. So I'm gonna use informing about the endangerment. If I've been using that word all unit, but that just means um, their numbers are really down. There aren't a lot of great white sharks out in the ocean. That's, that's what that means. The endangerment of the great white shark. So give me a second to rewrite this. The, love the name great white. I was obsessed with sharks when I was little guys. I, man, I love sharks. I'm probably more than dinosaurs. All right, so notice, I've kind of written a paragraph. In this essay, I will be explaining, or in this case, informing about the endangerment of the great white shark. Please remember that if I used informing, it will be informing you about the great, or the endangerment of the great white shark. Now, this is just the first part of the essay. I've only explained to you what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be writing about, what you as a reader are about to read. By doing this, I kind of create a cool little roadmap that goes into my topic. You can make your introduction even better by continuing and saying, I will be, or you could say something like, furthermore, informing you about, and then remember those three subtopics we talked about? You can also mention the subtopics in your intro as well. That way your reader has the complete picture of what you're about to talk about. Just for the sake of showing you though, I'm not gonna do that, but that is an option. So again, going back before we end today, an introduction just explains what you're about to read, or about that. Wow, even I can't get it. Your, your introduction in your essay is going to explain to you and to me, anyone that reads your essay, it's gonna to explain to them what the essay is about. It's a roadmap to what you have written your essay on. So, again, intros at the beginning, what do they do? Explain what your essay is gonna be about. In the Google Forms assignment, you're gonna be given a topic. It's a random topic and you have to use it. And then you are gonna have to practice writing an introduction to that topic. Hear me now, you are not writing an essay on the topic. You are only practicing writing your intro paragraphs. I'm gonna say that again and look really intensely into the camera. You are not writing an essay for me. You are only writing an introduction paragraph to help practice writing intros. So, this has been Mr. Dooley. This concludes the introduction day, day three, of our intro into essays unit. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks a lot.